Hey all you sexy sailors, we just got done putting together a Q&A on our Vimeo channel. It wasn't your typical sit down answer questions. What we did is we had our patrons send us questions and then we answered them by following each other around with a camera. And I'm telling you, the moments that we caught on camera are not to be seen on YouTube. So that's why it's on our Vimeo channel. Go ahead, click the link below if you want to watch it on our Vimeo channel. Another fun and exciting thing that's been going on for us is our Wi-Fi situation. We have Wi-Fi because we're stuck on a dock for a couple weeks in Grenada. I mean, I can't even say stuck because it's amazing. But that means that we have good Wi-Fi and we can put up lots of videos. Now, in order for you to get notified, you have to subscribe below. So click that pretty little button wherever it might be on the bottom. Hit subscribe so you can get notified. And there you go. It'll pop up with another video. Now sit back and enjoy the next episode of Lazy Gecko Sailing. Last time on the Lazy Geckos. Oh, oh shit. Hold on. Hold on. This is fucking crazy. I'm shaking. We couldn't even film then because it was like... And we were probably hitting at least 10, 12 foot waves there. The kids are probably like, are you kidding me? I told them all to stay in bed. Stay in bed! <laughs> Just stay in bed! <laughs> Offshore, I'd say. Brittany's freaking out. No, she's doing all right. Uh, had some pretty rough winds. Uh, we're at 20 right now. 20, 25. Probably see, probably six to eight. And uh, we're now headed south. Uh, we're at 60 degrees on a port tack, and um, boat's doing good. We're going to motor sail because generators have issues. like oh dang did I just catch on film it's starting no but no nope generator is foobard man I have no fucking idea how I'm going with generator like as far as the you know I'm, the, I'm bad at electrical stuff you know yeah this is an electric this is an electrical problem I hate them so it's gonna be something it's gonna be like a stator or a wiring or something like that trying to play around and see if I can mess with something, but nothing. It's jacked. Well, thank you for trying. You're welcome. A lot of this marine stuff, they don't, they don't give you the information. Like, you can't even do research online and, you know, it's like the only information you'll find is, well, the guy came out and replaced this component, but, you know, they get to find out what component it is and they have all these test kits and stuff that I don't have, and so there's not much I can do about it. So we couldn't charge the house bank, so our engines will charge the house bank. But once those are full, we'll shut the engines down. Right now we're making between seven and eight knots. Uh, we have one. We have our second reef in on the main, and uh, our entire Genoa out. A little windy, a little sporty. But, fun. Brittany is trying to relax. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for her. She's doing good. We're headed the right direction. Only eight more hours to go. The kids are absolutely loving it. Likes her bowl. The other one's right behind Brittany. Yeah, he looks just as happy. I need a bowl. I think it's beautiful. Making good time, going like the six, seven, and the eight knots. Winds are 20 knots. Uh, almost on a broad breeze. 
these are right now they're not too bad they're starting to calm down a little bit they were six to eight now they're probably three to five we have uh three other sailboats going along with us it's pretty cool because of a sporty wave looking forward to woo, going to the anchorage tonight it's supposed to be a beautiful anchorage and uh, this is what we do right now when you're sailing across. You just sit here. When it's like this, yeah. We have rules. And nobody's allowed past certain areas, lines on the boat. Everybody stays inside, everybody has a life jacket on. Reese is asleep. I imagine he's not gonna feel well when he wakes up, but we'll see. We have to keep going down and checking on him. Still pretty early in the morning. Still charging the house bank right now. As soon as that thing gets charged up, it takes a long time. As soon as it gets charged up, we'll shut our engines off as well. We're just about out of spot with 13,000 feet of water underneath of us. That's deep. Winds are gusting up to 30. They're 20, 23 right now, 23.4. Gusting up to 30. We, we've got uh, the main and general reefed all the way in uh, at our, final, our last reef. And we're kind of pointing into the wind a little bit, so you know that kind of reduces it as well. Averaging right around seven knots. These are probably six to eight right now. Um, making good time and moving forward. Family still doesn't feel too good though. I've emptied a couple bowls. Halfway through our trip, uh, we're making about seven, seven, seven five, 20 knots of wind, uh, close reach, and everything's going good. I think the family's starting to feel a little bit better. All three children have vomited at some point, but everybody kept it together, did it in a bowl, and we can just wash it right off the back, no big deal. And um, Brittany says she's starting to feel a little bit better now. The seas are probably three to five. Um, with an occasional like six right now, so it's, it's, they're, they're calming down. Everything's good. The battery bank is up to about 88%, which is cool. Um, we have to kind of melt that until we get the Nassau, because I need to get parts or get somebody to fix or something. We'll see, but can't really uh, complain. We, we left with four other boats, oh, no, three other sailboats. Uh, we passed them. Uh, we can still see them. They're not too far behind us. I don't know if you can see them on the GoPro or not, but we pass them. Uh, we're going to try to push through this so that everybody starts to feel a little bit better. I try, I, I also can get seasick at times, but what I do is as soon as I start to feel any inkling of being seasick, I immediately like look at something, I try to focus on something. Um, I try to just think about something with the boat, whatever, and I find that as soon as I start to think about something in detail, I don't feel sick at all. So I try to just keep my mind going, try to have a conversation. None of these people will talk to me when they're sick. I'm talking to them, they just sit there and stare. I try to tell jokes and sing songs, and they just sit there and stare. So, but that's one way that I deal with it. Um, I can get seasick, but if I just keep a close eye on it, it's good. If I allow myself to just go, like, oh, it doesn't take long, but if I start to get sick, and I go over a little, like, little ledge, I'm gonna be sick, and that's it. I'm, I'm gonna be miserable, and uh, it won't go away. So, as long as I keep it at bay at first, it's good, I don't have any issues. And when you're operating the boat, uh, that can keep you busy, and that's huge. So, if you ever do please feel seasick and like them, I offer it actually, but get on the helm, turn the autopilot off, and 
operate the boat, and you will be, uh, it should help you because your mind uh, gets occupied. Through the fields of our past. If it's rough, I'll usually get sick, but hey, it's worth it. Reese is pretty tough, but sometimes it gets him too. One thing that works is finding shapes in the clouds. took most of the day, but we made it. Crossing from the Abacos to the Eleutheras was not much fun, but the anchorage we found made it all worth it. It was time to hop in the dinghy and head for shore. Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. It's not working. You getting ready? Mm-hmm. How's the water? Yeah, there's lots of fish. Finally dropped our anchor. Coming later. Try to do your stern thruster. <laughs> Let's go to the bar. All right. Head <laughs> kind of down towards that way. What do you think, Kevin? Oh, this is awesome. Yeah? Pretty easy? Yeah, sure. Hello, ladies. Hi. Your men are getting a workout back there. You're doing good, though. Our episodes are fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos. Want to get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below.